Hey everyone, I go by the name of Roxy Rose and this right here is Roxy Rose Guides. Cash stuffing of my savings challenges and my sinking funds. Y'all stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Y'all, I thank you so much, my wonderful subscribers, for coming back on, y'all. Please press that bell notification so you can find out when my next video drops. And if you're new here, here on Roxy Rose Guys, I guide you through all things budget finance and debt payoff, along with some other things I'm trying to get into, like cash stuff in my savings challenges and my sinking funds. Y'all, I love doing these videos. So please go ahead and like and subscribe keep watching and y'all if you really want to support this channel go ahead and press those affiliate links and those links at the bottom they help you to help me to stay debt free okay all right because we all need this help all right if you guys know anything about my from my last video which is right up there um you guys know i love this candle got this candle and it talks about giving thanks and it's just perfect for november so i love it and it's amazing so here we go we're giving thanks so um for this video we're really going to get into cash stuffing and savings challenges so before we do anything we got to count the money okay now in the last video which is filmed a few minutes ago but actually you know y'all saw it probably last week this is the money that's left over from that while that i took out the bank so let's go ahead and count it and see how much we have to stuff with our savings challenges and sinking funds today. One, two, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four, twenty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Six, so that's 600, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70, 80. These are ones, this is 10 ones, so it's 80. $680, let's go ahead. Oh, let me turn this this way so it don't burn nothing. Goodness. I'm about to burn my whole setup over here. All right, so <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna make sure that we need to do is save Opoly or fun save Opoly, fancy save Opoly. That's right over here. So let's go ahead and roll for the beginning of November. Mm, we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's ten dollars. Like that amount. And seven again. Wow. No, five. <laughs> Need to count. One, two, three, four, five. So $25. Ends up being $35. I don't know why, but it seems like I'm always getting 35, 35. So Let's go ahead and take this and put it in save properly. Getting thick, man. Getting thick. So now we go to Law of Savings, which has been getting harder and harder to actually complete. I'm trying my best, but it's hard, y'all. It is very hard. I'm about to do this 35 and call it a day because I know I got to put other stuff other places and away so and I'll say you guys about to be this 35 right here yeah. okay all right next things next Next things next, I need to do my three months challenge. Now it's the first week. I'm actually behind, but that's okay. So I have 160 that I usually take out. That's for two weeks. So I'll 
we'll just put that right there. And I'm going to color this in a little later. Then I have my five big, y'all. I need to have cash. I'll put in a five right now. It is like that right now. And that's it for those challenges. I cannot forget my 100 envelope challenge. This week, I think that I'm going to do 22. I know other time I'm going to see 22, so I might as well do it now. You know what? I'll do 23 since the envelope is readily available. I might as well do 23 and just get that over and done with. And, and that's it for now. Now we got to go into our sinking funds, which kind of been affected, but that's okay. And please bear with me. I'm probably going to skip around a little bit, but I just want to make sure I'm getting everything that I need to. Okay. So here we go. The first thing I'm actually going to start with is this right here, which is the Christmas fund. The Christmas fund don't got a lot, but it's something worth noting that has been added to it. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So you have 170 in that Christmas fund. And I got get I got gifts to get. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, here's Pearl, her gleaming, shimmering, shimmering self. She's back out here, and she's ready to gobble this money up, okay? Now, y'all, my emergency fund right now, I'm not going to add a lot. I plan to, but I'm not going to. Just put money in there just in case, but not like crazy amounts. So you have one, two, 53, 50, 70, 90, 410. So you have $410. Just saved up for emergencies just in case. Y'all, my car maintenance. Zero. Y'all probably like, why? Because I have $700 tires is a lot so i took out all the cash i put 20 back in there home renovation i'm not even trying to do a home renovation right now to be honest so i'm just gonna put in ten dollars i'm not even trying to do that right now like we can't even focus on that right now travel is the only thing i'm worried about right now so for travel i'm putting in 100 so it's one two three 20, 40, 60. So 360 for travel, which is good. Need that cash on us. Investment. I was going to put more, but I can't. So I'm only going to put 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 530, 550. $550. That's money for investment. Taxes, which will be coming up soon, y'all. It's around the corner. It's about to be December, January tax time. All right. So, going to add 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 60, 70, 80, 590, 600, 610. So 610 dollars. Y'all probably like, shouldn't you stop saving now? You they already spent. Yo, my taxes cost more than that, but I get a money back. I get money back. All right, here Costco, which <laughs> I literally went to today. Is 20. I wasn't ready to pay that. I take out that huge amount. Okay. One month ahead, which I decided to start saving for. 
I have 20, I'm going towards that. Red to black budgeting. Went ahead and said something about making that your six month fund, but I'm just thinking about like one month ahead in all of my expenses. God forbid anything were to happen if I paid it by myself. I think my expenses by itself, well, for me and my, and my husband is about 3000 some dollars. Just the expenses for the month. I think we could easily lower expenses by getting rid of stuff, but we just, we can't afford it. So we're okay with doing that, even though it would probably help us pay down bills. And that. Anyway, next thing is holidays, which needs to get something. So holidays is getting this. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 210. $210 for holidays, which is good. Probably need to get more decorations. I kind of wanted to make it something so during the holidays, we each bring an extra like ornament. So we just add in ornaments each year. I think that would be really cute. Boss, I took out all the money because. Y'all, that phone, this phone that I'm using right now is expensive. So I'm putting this money back in. The money I took out needs to go to the bill. Date night, I took out. We went to this place called True Kitchen. I don't know if y'all ever been there. It's like a healthy, you know, sustainable, you know, vegan restaurant that just opened up in my area. But the thing is, like, I feel like the food was too healthy. Like, I feel like they cut out the fat in a lot of the stuff that they probably should have kept in the dish for flavor. But anyway, it was really good. Well, it was okay. It was okay. Um, birthday. Definitely going to add $10 for my birthday. At least $10. Yep, so we have one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 5, 45. Then we got self-care. I'm going to put $5 for my self-care. Because I'm running out of coinage. I'm running out of bills. You know, I'll put $10 because I like to get a massage during my birthdays. So I'm gonna put something else. Gifts. I like to put ten dollars for gifts. So fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one twenty, twenty-five, one thirty. 135, 137, 137, miscellaneous, I'll put the 10 in ones that I got over here, and this over here, I'll put the remainder of my money, which is $15. We don't know what that is yet. But keep watching to find out. All right, y'all. So Bridget is back away. And Pearl came out to play. So I hope you guys have an amazing and wonderful um, October. Yes, we went ahead and budgeted. We put all this cash and money away. And now, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for the holidays. This is my favorite time of the year where you get to celebrate be with your friends spend a little bit of money but aren't really it's on like food and travel and just you investing in spending time with your family so i love that part of these holidays i hope you guys have an amazing holiday and you know if you can't figure out a way for you to spend it and try to have a good holiday you know try to get in good with family if you know 
Or try to get in good with family. Do the best that you can. Some people can be with their family and they don't want to be with their family, but y'all. You know, your family that you didn't choose, for some reason they were chosen for you. So maybe try to figure out a way to. I can't even say what people should do. Do what you think is best for you during this holiday time. I hope it's something productive. I hope it's something kind. I hope it's something good. Whatever feeds your soul and helps your heart and shares love and gratitude and thankfulness, something you can be thankful for during this season, I pray that you do it. All right? You guys have an amazing and wonderful November. Take care. God bless. And Roxy Rose out.